Welcome to reality. You are about to witness how Reality Engine transforms this physical stage into a photorealistic extended reality stage. And all that, this time, without the need to use a green screen. Let's start with augmented reality graphics. Unlike traditional key and fill methods, Reality Engine is able to compose it augmented reality graphics like this one within physical spaces. On this scoreboard, you see the results from the last game between Lakers and Trailblazers. Using Reality Hub, you can update this information from any data source in real time. And by the way, it's so realistic that you can even see my reflection on this scoreboard. Now let's take this photorealism to a whole new level. In front of me, you see two glass panels showing the photos of two players from the game. Now take a look at the transparency of these glass panels. Beyond basic transparency, here we also see the realistic ray tracing of frosted glass. And as the camera moves, you will see how the highlights on the metal surface create a beautiful bloom effect. You can also see the last flares in the set adding more photorealism to the scene. And when the camera comes closer to the glass panels, look at the ray trace reflections and refractions on the edge of the glass. You will also see the panel reflections on the floor. And of course, we see no reflections on the non-reflective part of the surface. It is as real as it can get. This year, Zero Density is introducing brand new 2D and 3D on-air graphics tools. This all-in-one, highly versatile solution offers a range of features from template-based on-air graphics to complete 3D motion graphics. And its seamless bi-directional communication with Reality Hub enables MOS-based newsroom workflows, third-party data integration, and MCR automation. Now let me show you what we mean by extended reality stage. What you are seeing behind me is a portal window. It's not only showing a basic 2D graphic. As you can see, there is a depth to it. As the camera moves, the perspective angles change, creating a three-dimensional scene. Now let's transform this studio into an extended reality stage. And we suddenly find ourselves within a basketball court. This set extension enables us to transform small physical spaces into enormous 3D virtual worlds. Now let's see Lakers line up and bring them forward. Check the reflections of the panels both on the physical floor and the virtual floor. Once more, physical and virtual worlds blend together in a seamless way. Now let's send these panels back and once more bring them up from the floor. In a set with augmented reality graphics, you can create more interactive scenes using the power of Traxxas Talent S. With the location data coming from the tracker, it's possible to make graphics disappear or appear automatically based on the presenter's location. Now coming back to this video wall, even in an extended reality stage like this one, you are able to use it as a storytelling tool, showing any graphics or videos you like. It's worth mentioning here that Reality Engine supports all standard broadcast resolutions, but its adaptability is beyond that. Here we are using this video wall in its native resolution without compromising on quality or performance. Or once more, we can just make it transparent to create a more immersive 3D environment. As you watched in this demo, using the reality ecosystem, you can transform an ordinary physical space into a dynamic, and photorealistic extended reality stage. To get more details or discuss any custom workflows that you have in mind, 
you can talk with our experts at our demo pods. In the meantime, thanks to our booth partners, Layard, Agripment, Blackmagic, and Canon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.